All right, so we're doing a vote of you for our viewer that is playing Breach on Haven. We're going to have a defensive half. Let's, so we're going to record this for YouTube as well. Let's see. Uh. Close, just, just call. Mid, mid, mid pushing. Okay. Oh, wait, this is with me. What the fuck? <laughs> this is literally with me. In the... Oh, wait, what am I playing? Wait, what am I playing here? Wait, am I playing Sage? Oh, God. Oh, we lost this match, no? Yeah, we lost this pushing match. B, pushing B. I'm lighting for men. Oh, wait, wait, only Jet? Yeah, I think we lost this match. Don't fight, don't fight, don't fight. Go back, go back, go back, just back. And I got killed from C, by the way, here. Because I killed Jihad. I don't know. They walled off CT. Let's go from Garrosh. I flashed side, I flashed side, you ready? I flashed side. There's only one on side. Long, long. Help me, help me. Oh. Oh. Hi, there's no. The, you played okay? I was thinking maybe the stun should have been happening when the Killjoy was. Uh, and me, me and Killjoy was. Um, get it, get it, man. Free the defuse, free the defuse. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Whoever said that is right. Uh, uh so i think i think the uh the stun should have gone in in front of double doors when we're being pushed uh like early but that's about it you know it's fine dude i I, I think i trolled this game no on attack what was, what was this game? Can't remember. I think we lost 11 13 or something like that. That was the one with the, my fucking awful jump peak, by the way. Let's not overpeak the front, okay? They have a lower buy. Chamber can just have bullets and that shit is deadly. Stunning. Pushing shot. Good stun. I flashed shot. Found them. Short low. Out, out, out. One more, one more long. One more long. They forced. area. Oh, them. Mm, okay, let's see. Out, 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 out. One more, one more, long, one more, long. Why, why did you flash? Did you misclick? Yeah. I think you misclick, no? Out, 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 out. One more, one more, long, one more, long. You see the jet and you don't flash, so you probably didn't want to flash the jet, but I still think you should have flashed. Founded them. No, I like, even though it would have not been good because of their jet position, I think it's still worth it. Even though they're like she smoked and so on. But right now, after getting this kill, like right here, I've, this is the moment to flash again. Instead of going back. I think that would be. I think that was the case. Uh, the rotation was good. The rotation was good. Uh, I think you needed to wait for them to execute. Uh, the stun was okay. I think that just the flash after you getting that kill, a counter flash would have been really nice. Yeah, yeah, I know you didn't want to flash the jet, but I think objectively in situations like that, like the thing is, when the jet was standing in this position over here, right, you can still flash to help yourself, but but not flashing her. Look, you can flash over here. You can flash here, you can flash on uh, hell, you can literally flash here to flash like this, right? So what, I'm, what I mean is you can always try to find positions that will not flash your teammates. And this comes from raw experience. Like when you're, when you're really, wait, when you're, when you're experiencing the game, you're going to have this in your muscle memory like your jet is standing here in this position right so you don't want to flash the jet so they want to flash this but you can find other spots for flashes that maybe maybe will be effective like flashing over here right it explodes in this point so someone if in case they're out look look how deep this flash is you see this and this flat this doesn't flash anyone that is on your defender but flashes the opponents that are on long and are maybe out of the smoke here so uh, you help yourself by doing that and you should aim it higher actually look what it explodes here 
instantly good flash. Okay, so no, let's find the lineup for that because I'm not playing breach on this map, right? So I don't really know, but let's let's see if if that's possible to flash over here in this spot. Over here. Yeah, it is. See? So when you're going out, you just flash over here in this spot. And you're able to flash everyone on long without affecting anyone from your defenders. Alright, so that's one flash that we found right now. You can also... Let's see. Yeah, you can flash over here as well. So you can flash like this. Right? This might fully flash... No, this will fully flash this person. But still, it's better than flashing this box, in my eyes. Actually, now when I think about it, look, your, your teammate is only being flashed if he stands here, but if he stands like this, then the flash on the box, if you put it here, doesn't flash him. Just look at the, look at the uh, angles, right? You're able to benefit from this. So, if I would be retaking from CT, and I don't want to flash anyone on site, I'm flashing over here, right? So this flashes here, and flashes the people that are coming out of long, like this, because they get fully flashed from here if there's no smoke, right? Uh, and helps your teammates that are standing on site. Even if they are, like, backside, they're, not, they're getting half flashed, not full flashed, right? So that that would be my go-to flash. Then another one, when, you, when you're retaking, look, you can also flash this, no? It requires, yeah, this is, like, this is hard to do when doing, like, a full retake, but you can try it as well, right? Because this is all, you can only do this when you know that the opponents are not yet on site because you need to peek so out, right? But that's another option if you don't want to flash the defenders. Then another option would be... Fuck, I'm not certain if this actually happened. It helps. This is exploding from... No, never mind, this explodes in the front. So, anyway, so when you're rotating as well, you can think about flashing already from here. Depending on the, how your teammates are playing, right? But look, when you're rotating from B, and there's an execute, you can already flash over here. And that helps your teammates, who shouldn't be flashed if they're standing over here, they're getting a half flash or something like that, and you help your teammates when they're pushing out. But, in general, I would say that you should aim the flash over here, in this spot. So... Let's find it again. Over here. Yeah. So, and this flash, if it explodes over here, flashes the people going out of, out of long, flashes the people that are out of short as well, and it helps you get a little bit of space. Right? So, you're able to... Uh, you're able to help your teammates even though you're not even close to the side. So what does that achieve? You're actually able to rotate a little bit later, right? Or or you don't even have to rotate. Think about it this way. When I'm playing on B side like you, right? I'm holding this and there's like, oh, they are executing, a, uh, executing A. I'm like, okay, stun, if I have stun, and then flash. I can remember what I, what I showed. Wait, the pink, where was it? Okay, so here. So you flash over here. And you can just stay on B. Right? Depending on the situation. Like, you don't have to rotate. You just help the B players immensely area. without changing your position. Found them. Right? So, that's also, like, a, something that you need to think about when playing Breach. Alright, let's go back to the VOD. I'll do the subs after the... Uh, after the... Um, for a view, sorry. Yeah, I'll be. Smokecraft. They can push ceiling. It's B, it's B. Yeah. That's second smoke. Spike Try to get as much gas. As much gas. One thing I don't like um, so far is that you don't use your stun. It's like in this game, if you play Breach, you, you, should, be ha you should have a plan. How to use this stun almost like every round instantly to get as much as much value as possible. <clears throat> By the way, I know it's random, but when when you're going to defuse, right? 
I always try not to stand exactly on this bike. And you're standing exactly on this bike. Like, it's just, it's very random. It really, it's like, depend, it depends on how your opponents will spam. But it, I think it's way easier to get killed when you're standing exactly on the spike. Yeah, you should you should be stunning A main like almost every round at the beginning. Like look at the position of your teammates right now. They don't do jack shit. What the fuck is this? Like what the fuck is this? Two in front of double doors. Please don't over rotate. Please hold A still. Yeah. Out B, out B, out B. Flashing. This is good flash because it's, it's a little bit more to the right. But again, I, I feel like you are too busy and that, like, you're the B player. But you're busy being, uh, trying to be mid range support. And that, I don't think you can play like this. I don't think you can play like this at all. Two in front of double doors. Please don't over rotate. Please hold A still. And not in ranked, I mean. Not in ranked. See? Like, because of the fact, I know there's an omen on your right, but you can't really trust teammates in fucking ranked. Like, right here. This is on you that they went on to B side for free, right? Be out, be out, be flashing. I'm blind. I'm leaving C. Oh, free out. So, my first advice Planting. is when you play, if you play in ranked, focus on yourself. Focus on yourself when it comes to just using the utility. Wait, what happened here? Oh, we're saving. No, wait, what? Oh no wait, this round okay okay, never mind. Wait, who are you playing with? I have ulti. I will do it. You can save for me. Who's your duo? Mm, they Book don't joke. have a way to destroy it. That's right. Are we taking on A? Yeah, yeah, let's play with A. Jet, sell the sheriff, I can buy you a gun. I don't have a duo? Oh, so you're just speaking to yourself. Okay. Okay. Enough cash on one on two guys to have rifles, so be aware. C uh, jet on the smoke, two guys on C long. Are you smoke C? Chamber in B in mid. I will stun on the alarm bot contact. Inside, inside. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the minimap, look. Focus on yourself. Like that stun chamber in B in mid is nice, but you just saw a chamber in front of B, I'll right? Stun on the alarm bot contact. Inside, oh. inside. And I'm just not getting help from Killjoy at all, even though I called like they execute. I uh, sorry, not execute, but like attack from the beginning of the round, right? Killjoy just doesn't give a fuck. And the thing is, you are not watching B during that entire time. For rank, that is not good. Like, you are too busy, like, being a mid-range mid support when you can be lurked on B. This flash, by the way, is nice for the jet, but aimed it to be Planting higher, by the way. Planting. I was hoping Omen or Jet would take over while rotating. There's no way. There's no way that people would do that. They don't know the basics of, like, shifting responsibilities. You would have to tell them that, and then they wouldn't understand. So you you can do that, but but here the flash that you do right, aim higher for it. Planting. Like it's fine for the jet, but it doesn't flash anyone else, right? Look how high it is. You flash it over here in this spot, right? So people playing on site, they are never getting flashed. See this? It's exactly behind this wall. But you can achieve literally the same, but better, by flashing over here. Not only the jet player that is here doesn't see it, or like sees it very, very lightly, so he doesn't know exactly where it explodes, but because you're flashing so high over here, it flashes the people that are on site. Look, see? Yeah, Fretzer, that's me. 
So if you flash over here, not only achieve the same goal of flashing this person here, but you also achieve another goal of flashing the people that are trickling onto the site. And maybe because of this, you will get someone a kill from double dose or you will delay the plant by a huge margin. Like it's actually really impactful. Just changing the position of the flash is just so impactful. You can do the same, by the way, uh, by flashing over here, right? Although I don't think it's going to be high enough. Mm. Fucking epic, man. Now, this depends. This person here doesn't get flashed because of this flash. So I think it depends on what you want to do. Maybe this flash is better, actually. Than this one. This one is okay. Definitely better than this one here. But I think aiming for a flash over here... Uh, no, you know what? I think the best flash would be here. So the best flash would be here because the person that is standing over here might not get fully flashed by a flash that is too much to her left side. So when you're retaking, I would aim for a flash like... What the fuck is happening here with this flash? The angle's weird. Alright, this requires a little bit of practice, I guess. Yeah. Alright, so you can... Oh, okay, so let's adjust. I think you can only do, go for this flash over here, which one, which is better for you, right? Only if you have a smoke in front of you. Or you know that there's no one here, but that, that is a... That is not good. So, I would say if there's a smoke in front of you, I would flash over here. Because that allows you to get the best flash position. If there's no smoke for you, I would just go for this. Alright? So it explodes over here. But see, this is, this is literally what I talked about. You were hoping that someone will take over your responsibility from B, Planting. and you get lurked because our jet rotates through spawn, doesn't take the B uh, responsibility, right? Doesn't hold anything. Yo, this is the fucking jet. I remember this fucking game. There's gonna be one round when I'm holding window in double doors, and I'm literally getting pushed, and the jet stands here looking at nothing, and I ask her for help, and she doesn't budge. B. Oh fuck me, man. Yeah, this is this is. I remember this game. This was. See, this is another round when you don't utilize your 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 stun, but you could have. You could have had a better, better, like way better op opportunity to delay the, the, the push and also help the teammates on A. And you, are, you don't even use the stun this round. And that is, in my eyes, unacceptable. It's like a Sova that didn't use this dart the entire round and just pushed into a retake for no reason. You know? Like... You had different options here. You either stun at the beginning of the round on A main to slow them down when it comes to the execute, or you keep that stun when you want to pick out out of CT. And so you stun that fucking short when you pick out with the marshal. And it, instead, you opted to use a flash that that, that didn't really do anything. Yeah. Right? So I swap to A. You, want to you swap play, to C. Play. No one is holding double dose now. I'm playing good. Need smokes? Stay on A, please. Jet. Can smoke okay. I reposition to towards B. We had nothing. We had no movement on A. No one is controlling double dose, by the way. This is like. Oh my. Oh <laughs> Yeah, this this one-way smoke that he did, it doesn't really do anything. Turret kind of holds it. Yeah, but doesn't stop anything. They're just going to go through double doors, and they're going to go through to side or to, to window, and we're fucked. This is really not a good hold for ranked. The, again, this flash, right? When you do it on the bottom, 
it's way easier to dodge it than you do it on the top. It's like, this should be your habit to aim up with the flash. Nothing there. See, baby, baby. Out. Planting. I will them now. I remember this one. I got two bullets from a fucking chamber that were meant for that jet. <laughs> Good ult, though. Sky. Sky to the second middle. Wait, but... You... See, baby, baby. Out. You should ult now. 100% you should have ulted now to stop the plant from happening. You know? I will this, now. It's like... The ult is good, but it could have been so much better. I'm defusing. Good position for the... For the, uh, for the fucking defuse. Yeah, well done. Good job. Time to stop back up. Hey, push. You want me to rotate early? Yeah, I will. We're gonna play a bridge game next next uh, next rank game. 120 jet, 90 on sky. Enemy I give flash? Spike down A. What did you oh. stun? Enemy spotted A. 120 jet, 90 on sky. Enemy spotted A. I give flash? Oh, it's okay. This is, this is okay. Like, you had multiple options, you chose this one. You didn't have a lot of information. You could have, you could have stunned before. Good job. It would have been still okay. Nice, like, that's fine. Play without one. Uh, oh, I didn't know. It's moving, right? I'm gonna go to the stun him. Strong can get it. Get a shout, get a shout. Nice. Dead Don't one. Don't die on me. One more. Maybe one. Out. 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 <laughs> so now now this is a position let's see where you flashed this is the position where you should be flashing bottom because you can flash your own killjoy here right like you need to be so flexible on breach look when she's standing here right if you flash bottom behind this box she doesn't get flashed like this Right? If you flash high, she gets flashed. But if you flash bottom, she doesn't get flashed. But also, what you can do, and that will be much better, like, let's pay, let's pay attention to your position, right? So you're here. The best flash that you could do for the jet, for the, for the killjoy right here, is here. Or here. Right? Or here. Will never flash her, and you flash your every single opponent. Even, and you can do it easily from the smoke, right? So when you're standing in the smoke, and you know your opponent is is like pushing that killjoy. Oh fuck me! Epic pen. Right. You flash this. Flash here. Flash here. Right. All of this is massively helping your killjoy, so is this flash. Is never flashing this person fully, but flashes the people that are over here and are trying to kill her, right? Because it explodes over here. But so is this flash. Remember this one, the first one that I showed you? This one also would be really, really fucking good for, for, this, for this person. Like This is such a good flash. And it never fully flashes this person. Right? And it helps all of the positions. Look how close can you be? Like, you can be so close to the logs. If you take... Okay, this here is not, is not getting flashed unless you do it even higher. Right? If you do it even higher, it will flash someone that is so close to the logs over here. But if people are trying to, like, push him, they're getting fully fucking exposed.
Flashing again. Flash on B. I give smoke long. No, wasn't A. We have spike on C. Shema wasn't A. You could come B. Are we losing this game? Oh, no, uh, sorry, no, no. this this round. Taking gun. No. Play my contact here. Ah, that's the killjoy with the turret. Yeah, yeah, I remember this one. Maybe we could need to push. We wait on your contact, guys. Okay. I can stack on it. On it. No, three there. Stay on this. Stay on this. Stay on this. Trust. He needs to put the turret. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Right. That's why I didn't go for myself there, by the way. But he actually puts the turret, and that that literally cancels the ult. He's on site. Yeah. He's gonna ult now. He can't. <laughs> didn't take it. Didn't, yeah. didn't take it. Alright. A. I muszam przyjść po prostu C, prawda? Kiedyś. Not A. Not A. One big loop. Hey. 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 This is the this is the outcome of no one holding double door and the early player from B dying. We have literally lost everything. The omen just yes, doesn't do shit, and now we lost the, every single piece of 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 map. And this is not a round when you didn't use a single piece of utility. I'm see? I'm, I'm dead. Oh, free out. And I think that's an issue. Like you are too busy thinking about helping other players where instead you should be in ranked you should be fully focusing on yourself Spike planted. you know like your your stun should be used anywhere stop that push for double doors flash to stop pushing and execute like you can wait you can literally wait on the contact of of killjoy here right you can literally play the way that you played the round before okay. when we talked about the flashes. If you wait for the for the killjoy contact here, right? You can literally stand in CT with the flash, or I mean you can get flanked from double door window. But you have to take an assumption here. Either like you having the first contact is literally meaningless because this player doesn't do shit. Right? But if you play on her contact, then you can swing and kill. Or you can flash and kill, right? So playing on her contact is always the correct choice, while playing on your contact is always the incorrect choice because the killer cannot benefit from your contact. Like she doesn't have an angle to Free get out. any trades. Four out. Four there. Mm. I think save the gun. There. Yeah. There. Now we have no one on C. Operator, don't pick. <laughs> I've got your train. Yeah. <laughs> because, because. It's an... <laughs> See? This is the outcome of trusting your teammates. Look at the omen. Look at where the omen is. Look what happens right here. I've got your trail. Because, because. Oh. Well, back. And that is, that, that is literally how I'm getting mad in ranked. Because you trust that your teammate on B is doing this, his job. Our omen did nothing. They didn't communicate as well. And you are caught off guard with your knife out. Look, look. I've got your trail. Right? That's one of the things that you have to also pay attention to. In ranked, in most cases, running with a knife doesn't give you much benef many benefits. So, uh, just fucking don't run with the knife when you're defending. Just go with a gun, always. You are not be being so slow and you're always ready. He called it second die, second I die, well. Yeah, it's, but it's like, this is something that is a hubris to many players in solo queue. You're getting fucked because you trust your teammates. It's something that I had for the past three years and I just stopped. I, I mean, not every time. I'm not that effective. Still trust some to some degree. But you should not be trusting teammates. They are just fucking donkeys that don't understand basics and will not communicate stuff that you should have been communicating every time. Good stun. Yeah? And instantly you get an assist on a kill. See? Oh, shit. Wait. Wait, what the fuck? What? Hello? What? 
Never forget to turn on your closed captions. What the fuck? Plugin. Never forget to what the fuck? What happened with my fucking YouTube this video? On this channel, I share tips and tutorials for what? and content creation. Okay, I guess I'll open it again. I don't know what happened, but hey, it is what it is. Alright. So you got the assist on the short. Just run back. I already stunned for you. 130 on Sky, 50 on Shamba. Pushing back, pushing going back, back, going back. back. Going to you. Yeah, to here. Kill them of turbo, what's the damage now? Look at the Oma. Oh just look at the fucking Omen. Just just look at him. Just look what position did the omen take and, and explain to me how the fuck is it the log logical choice. Just explain it to me. Guys, look. This guy went into platform C where our killjoy literally controls everything here. The only thing that is not being controlled is this. And he chooses to play like this. How on earth is that a good decision making? This omen, his only job would be to control double doors from here or from here. Not from here. That's it. That is literally trolling. We have so much space. Going A. Going A. Nice hit. We have one more. We have so much space, and this motherfucker is just trolling. We have good right with the last one. Yes. Yeah. Go in A. Go in A. And then our kill is also trolling. We don't have one. We have good right with the last one. Yes. Yeah. 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 Bye, guys. Two flashes. Must have to save it. Yep. Good, good swing, but why are you not yep. stunning, right? Spike down. Left two flashes. Wait, why? Why? Eighteen bullets. Left two Why classic? Mis mistake. I think just misclick, right? It's fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I, I think the swing on this on the sage, you should have used the stun. You should have used the stun. There was no reason to not use it. Middle of the small. Can you hold it, Amon? As well. I'll play towards him. Probably. Wait, I'll jump pick this. Oh no, no! <laughs> no, no, I'm not showing this! I'm not showing this! Wait, <laughs> 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 I'll jump pick this. Yeah, that was a terrible jumping. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. 30 seconds. Oh. Oh. oh, fuck me, man. Oh, God, dude, that was so terrible, man. That was so terrible. I don't know Let's why I pressed side. fucking directional D when that happened. I don't know. Should I have swing yeah. here? No, no, no. Th th this. Wait, swing where? With me? No, you shouldn't. Flashing us out. Let's try. But here? Yeah, I think it's fine. Uh, decision making is fine here. So uh, when fight stuff, you know. Well, uh, maybe you just throw palm away from here. I literally got myself like in front of the angle of the wall because I pressed the directional D to the right. Watch out, double dose. Nice, One in front of B. 
Oh, Two mid, going on B side. What the fuck did I, I die here? Like, One in front of B. Oh, I got killed for the smoke. Oh, fuck me. Are there more? Double dose sky. Four with you guys. Faxa, Faxa Stana. Nice shot. Two in front of double dose. Oh, Two yeah, in front yeah, of double me. dose. You have spike as well. <coughs> we don't. Long one. Double doors. And long. Mine's not raining. Four shot, mine. Double doors. Okay. TP. I have two flashes Both. still. Planting Sorry. default. Together. I don't like this aftershock, by the way. Don't fuck me. Go, 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 go. go, go. Nice. nice. Good job, team. Well played. So, I don't like this aftershock because your teammates won. They already peak, right? But this aftershock doesn't really clear anything. Like, what does it do? Stops it only if they plant. Actually, never mind. It stops the planter in the fucking default. If he if he plants over here, it stops the plant. Okay, never mind. It's good. It's good. But the other option would be to use it for this. But there's in this round, there's no one there, right? So there's no reason. Yeah. Although, look at this. Isn't this better? Isn't this better when running out? This is actually much better, no? Look at this. This helps you so much when going out of CT. I like this one. Not gonna lie. You have to be, uh, have to be a little bit precise, so maybe not easy to do. This one is good. This one is also good to achieve something else. Uh, I like both. This clears not much, but it helps a little bit. While this one here clears the most annoying angle to go out of CT. Right? <sighs> Maybe let's go fast somewhere. Oh, yeah, yeah. We have to like force the ops. The smoke and explode from the smoke, okay? okay. I'm gonna play Sweet. like deeper and I'm gonna stun locks for, for you. Yeah. And flash backside later. Shadows. So, okay. So when you're playing like for, for, for C, like you have to be no. in cubby. You cannot be in this position. Like this is, this is something that so when you, when you play uh, breach. Wait, wait it out. Go back, go back. Don't show yourself. Don't show yourself. We're going to re-smoke this the same way in like 10 seconds. And then we go in. Kildred, don't lurk now because you're going to okay. go into default. Can you smoke now? And we're going to explode inside? You have to be closer. You, this is not a good position for you to be in because you're going to be late. So this is one of the major issues that I see in ranked when people are, have terrible spacing for an execute. And right now, you're guilty of that. Like, look at the players. You're not able to help anyone because you're so far away. And that flash is way too late as well. Go, go. Oh, I remember this one. If I kill that person on the fucking platform, we win this fucking round. Like 100%. Yeah, I don't... I, so, I, I, again, this is not an insult. I heavily dislike the way that you play this execute. So how, how do we fix it? First, you don't want to stand over here. We literally smoke on top C to get into this position earlier, right? So right now, right now, my execute as a breach would be this. I stand from here so I don't stun any of my teammates. I'm close to them, so I can run in. And my my execute would be like this. And I'm in. And I use three pieces of utility, cleared so much, and I'm ready to gunfight. And I still have one flash. Right? So if you don't want to be like that super giga aggro, right, you can do this. Uh, and you go out, right? Flash over here to flash like the people here, right? Or flash over here. But then it doesn't flash the person that is standing like this, right? So flash over here is much better, in my opinion. 
So you want to be more effective, and then you're closer to the site. Wait, what is the flash over here? Why is this so weird? Yeah, here. Yeah, this is this is really good because this flashes this person over here. So I would probably do this. So this, this, this. Before peaking the second flash and you're in and you have nothing to lose now, you have zero utility, you use everything for an execute and going in. By the way, this is our smoke. I don't want uh, this is... One more city. Two city, two city. One enemy this is an incredible, nice. incredible gaming from the fucking Omen. Yeah, Jet on middle. Okay. Jet on middle. Yeah, but you're not playing for like. Look, on you start the round in a position that doesn't really give you anything. Ah, oh, this is awful, man. I puke whenever I see this in ranked because look at the position of your teammates. You have three players on A, three players on A, but you don't take any space. So we are fucked on B and A because we have three passive players on fucking A side, and this jet is doing sh jack shit. I'm being this. This is the round when yeah. This is the round. Oh my god, I'm gonna be so mad. Oh my god, I'm gonna be so mad. Oh my god, I'm gonna be so mad. Holy fuck! Oh, Are they going in? I don't know. I'm gonna be so mad. This is the round. No, no, this is not the round because Killjoy is dead. Never mind. This is not the round. That's why I'm going heaven. But again, it's one minute into the round and you didn't use a single piece of U2. And that is on you. One more. Short, 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 short. Good shots, though. One inside. Really well played. Maybe close to you. No, 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 don't, don't, don't go, don't go, don't go. Let him go in plant, okay? And then I see the spike, I see the spike long still. Spike okay, long. Okay. Oh my god, I'm being flanked here by this. I see the spike long still. Spike okay, long. Okay, okay. This is the round where I'm getting flanked. 30 seconds left. One lurk from B. Inside. Inside, this this Come, jet just okay. this jet literally had zero value this entire fucking round. Literally zero fucking value. Take damage on three, two, one. Last oh. I'm Where so ah oh, fuck me, dog. man. The, our jet this round literally didn't hold anything. The entire round didn't control anything, and she had an operator. They know there is something wrong. Guys, remember, when you're playing an operator, you should not be the one that is oh, that is fucking rotating. You're the one that is holding a fucking angle, and you don't move. You're a fucking turret. I can stun on entire left side. One say pushed. We can get He's pushed by the way from A. We have nothing to. Yeah, this is another one. Look, our killjoy is not holding anything with the flank, and we're getting flanked this round. It's such basic shit. If you play your character well, look how Bupchu right now, our breach is fucking anxious that he can get pushed from fucking from the fucking window. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. We are literally losing this round because our killjoy didn't use a bot. Window, 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 window. Yeah, window, window. And we're fucked. We are literally fucked because of that. Oh my god. There's nothing we can do here, uh, Breach. We are getting fucked because of our killjoy. That's it. That's literally it. Look at our killjoy. Bot, never to be used. Over time? Yeah, sure. Get out of my way. flanked. There's literally nothing you can do in that round. But this is uh, like, again, 
This is like a, the way you play in this position doesn't achieve anything. You didn't use your stun at the beginning of the round to gather any space, and you have such an easy way of gathering space here. Look, if I'm playing breach and I'm for some reason playing on the A side, right? My default plan would be to play on long instead of side, and I start the round by just doing this. And if there's no one here, I gathered so much space. Now the player from my A can rotate, and I can hold this alone. Right? But because you play on this position, and your omen plays for some fucking reason on the box here, or whatever, we lose two players for no info. Right? So this position over here at the beginning of the round is high-key griefing your rotations. Because you, you essentially chain another player to a side for no reason, and gathering information and map control on defense on Haven is key to success. Right? So you want to stun this and just fucking play for info. Like, you can just pixel fucking look at this. You don't have to fight. You can just pixel look at this. You see a player, bah, you go back. And then you play from this position. Or you rotate to heaven or whatever. But if you play at the beginning of the round from this position, then you literally kill our rotations. Probably double doors, yeah. I can stand up those before pick. Yeah, oh my god. Uh, oh, I'm so mad already. I'm so mad already. Guys, just, just fucking look at our... Just look at our fucking jet right now. What is gonna happen? Just look at this. Window. I need help. Good job. Standing window. Jet, for fuck's sake. Imagine I don't get the kill on that fucking player. Wall in What's up, you know? I'm holding, I'm holding. You smoke me? Oh, very good example. Our omen played the entire round that position. We lose you this round me? just because of this. Look, look at this. Look, look at the omen. And that is not his fault. I mean, he's too stupid to understand what happened. But the reason why our omen dies is because our breach failed to get a control so now we get lurked by a, by a fucking chamber that goes from long and our omen is too stupid to understand that he needs to reposition because he committed to a tp before the round starts and he plays in a position that he doesn't want to leave and now literally dies because of that one day one a it's eight, it's eight, it's eight. Two a two a side one yeah more a coming from short and that is the outcome of your bad positioning at the beginning right there you can go, I'll flash. Oh, they won't CT. Destroyed. I'm, I'm doing this. Oh, I remember this one. I remember this one. I remember this one. Under heaven. I'm blind. I'm short under heaven. No, this is, this is, this is really incorrectly played. This is really incorrectly played. Like that's, that's the one I got really mad about this. So, the way you played, Right? Stunning is, you, can you are affected by the paranoia because you played it incorrectly. Go. It's Killjoy is brain dead. Right? The Killjoy is brain dead. But your position for your util makes you late. So literally we play a 3v2 and because our Killjoy is brain dead it's a 2v2. So only me and Jet are doing the, the retake and you are at fault here because you are playing like this. You are, look at the distance f for the other players. The spacing for you is incredibly bad because you're late. The killjoy is, is, is brain dead. Look at her. She pulls out utility right now. She put an alarm about be fucking behind us. She's brain dead. But it's still your issue that you are not closer. You're affected by, the, by this paranoia. Like, this should never happen. Like, the way that you should be doing this retake, specifically in ranked, right? You should be player that goes next to me, and we explode. That's it. You can literally just do fucking... How, how much uh, How much detail did you have? Let me check. So you have two flashes and, and a stun. So you can do this. You don't want to, like, you want to be close. You can affect under... 
by doing this, right? You can be closer to not stun your teammates from fucking short here. Or you can do this. And this is good as well. And you're so much, so much closer to your fucking teammates. Right? Or here. Whatever. Just, just go out. Just go out. Just go out so you can be on to site and avoid that paranoia because your spacing was fucked. If he stands under, he will stun the jet. Well, he can wait for that jet dash. You know? But if you play from here, you are not able to help me. You are not able to help the jet because you're absent. You, you do just util. That is fine. But you are too late and you're getting caught because of the paranoia. Not because you're unlucky, but because of your bad spacing. You know? That's about it. Like... We completely disregard the fact that Killjoy is completely brain dead and, and literally threw this fucking round. But the, but the the spacing that you have is just not good for a retake. Destroyed. I'm doing that. Wait, jet for us. We need to go in now. Stunning graffiti. You can go. Please can dash on Blinding. Under heaven. I'm blind. I'm short under heaven. See? Like, thank you for sending this, by the way, because we learned a shit ton. We learned a shit ton, but you can clearly see that one, uh, Omen, Kildra, and Jet are, are really brain dead. Like, really brain dead. Um, but your utility as Killjoy, eh, sorry, as, as Breach, is pretty decent. We can improve it for sure. But your biggest culprit of, of playing in ranked, from this one game at least, that I, uh, that I can uh, tell, is you trust your teammates too much, you try to be a mid-range support when you should focus on yourself, and you fail to understand the macro perspective of this map, which is early info gathering and getting map control, right? On both attack and defense, your stun is one of the key pieces of utility to gather space on this map. And we failed a few rounds because of that. Like, this round here, we lose the Omen because he's a moron, but we will lose the Omen because you didn't take the space on A main so he could rotate as well, right? And then your spacing on executes and retakes is not correct for ranked. For, for like an actual team, when everyone knows and understands what needs to happen, you can get away with this spacing because maybe you have a specific plan. But for ranked, as a breach, you need to be the one as well that has the ability to trade your teammates after you use your utility. And the, the, the spacing that you typically put yourself in while doing executes or retake was too far away from teammates. You know? But anyway, super helpful that you sent this VOD review. Thank you very much, Bobchu. I uh, hope you learned, hope you all learned from this VOD review. And we're going to finish this VOD.